Hi, welcome to Learning Grass GIS. This is tutorial number eight. Starting Grass GIS with a new project, reading data from a georeference data file. On this tutorial, I will show you how to define a new location with this map set. We will use a georeference data file to define our projection and datum. I will show you how to start a new project using the sample data provided with the Grass GIS installation. If you haven't done so, please uh, review tutorial number one and find out how to install it. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to define a grass location with its name on a database. You will also learn how to load a georeference data file to get our datum and projection. And finally, you will be creating a map set in our newly created location. Um, but before we start, you will need to go to the uh, tutorial notes and click on the link to download our working file that we're going to be using uh, to load into our grass examples. This is where we will be getting the georeference data file from this uh, link. So please go ahead and download it and continue with the tutorial. We're going to start by opening our location wizard. We'll go ahead and click on it. And we get our define new grass GIS location name. So here again, we're going to use something that's specific to our project and location. So let's say project project location will be a new location. So we're just going to use tutorial. I'm sorry. Eight location. And then in the title, let's try to be a little bit descriptive of what the project is about. So people are going to be using your files, give them an idea of what the project is about. So this is a tutorial project and just a little bit of information of the area we're working on. And at North Carolina or whatever, you know, California or, you know, just whatever location or area you're working on and some datum or projection information, if you know. If you don't, then just leave it blank. And, uh, you know, just put in uh, whatever data you want to put in there. So we have our, our define our name and information for our location name. So we go ahead and click Next. Once we've done that, we are on our choose method for creating a new location. On this tutorial, we're going to be using the uh, number three, the one on the line, read projection and datum terms from a georeference data file. If you haven't done so, you need to download the file we're going to be using. So please go on the notes and click on the link to download the uh, file that we're going to be using. So after we select that, we click Next. And we are now on the select georeference file. Again, if you haven't downloaded the file, please do so, so we can do this next step. So we're going to click on Browse. And depends on what computer system you're using, uh, whether it be XP, Windows, Vista, 7, or 8, the locations where you download files are different in all of them. On this case, I created my own download file. And that's where I'm going to get my files from. On my case, it's going to be on the C drive and a folder called Grass Downloads. And we're going to select the gdc.shp file, the shape file. It's called shape. So we're going to select that. This is going to give us the, um, the data and data projection that we're looking for for this project. And then we're going to click Next. We're just going to read a little summary of information we're having. And we're doing, you know, we have the location name that we just created, the title that we just created also, and the projection, what we're doing with it. And we're losing, using this file to get our projection. And we're going to go ahead and click Finish. Once we click Finish, again, as we did before, we're going to get this little window or pop-up window that's going to ask us if we want to, uh, you know, set the default region and resolution extents for our project. 
You can say no or you can say yes, but in this case, in this tutorial, you should always say yes. And we're going to click yes. So once we do that, we're presented with the uh, set default region extent and resolution windows. And as you see, as here, unlike the other ones, all the information is already filled in for us. So we don't have to do anything for it. All of our extents and resolutions are already set in for us. All we have to do now is just click set region. So we'll click, uh, and this is what we're left. The welcome to graduate window again. And now we have our location created, tutorial eight location that we created. But we don't have a map set to go along with it. We do have the permanent map set, which is created automatically. But we need also a map set for users that are going to be working on our project. So we're going to go to the right hand side on create map set. We click on it and we just enter a name for our user that's going to be using this map set user one map set for tutorial eight. You know, and if we had more than one user, we do the same thing for the other one, you know, user two and so on and so on, you know, as many users as we need. And that's pretty much how we created a, um, a new location using our georeference geo file to get our projection and data and data and datums. This is the end of tutorial number eight. Uh, by now, you, on this tutorial, you practice how to define a grass database on location name using the uh, define your location wizard. You also practice how to load a georeference data file into our location to get our datum and projection. And you also practice how to create a map set on our newly created location. Um, if you read the notes, there are further uh, links and other resources that you can use to learn more about what we just did. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know and see how we're doing. And we hope that you continue reading or watching the tutorials. This tutorial is the last one in our part one, getting started with Grass GIS. And we will be creating new tutorials with other aspects of this uh, Grass GIS software. So stay tuned for more tutorials.